French MPs won their second by US high street fashion giant Gap, showing a young Muslim girl wearing a headscarf. Thousands of people have now signed a petition demanding Gap end the ad campaign. The back to school campaign was shot in New York, but when Gap Kids published the photos and videos on its French social media sites, it sparked a massive outcry. Muslim clothing is a divisive issue in France, with hijab-style head coverings banned in schools. The country's secularity, or separation of state and church, is enshrined in the Constitution, whereas the US First Amendment guarantees freedom of religion and expression. We went onto the streets of Paris to gauge opinion on Gap's move. It's unacceptable to boycott Gap just because they show a girl with a veil. It's no big deal. A young, veiled girl. That's the way she sees things. It's not a concern. It's not something we are used to. We see women wearing veils, but rarely children. I'm against showing a little girl wearing a veil. I think it's a shame to get such young children involved in very restrictive issues concerning women's freedoms. Well, we have asked Gap for comment and we'll let you know when they respond. But French politicians are already calling to boycott the brand. Gap shows a little veiled girl. Marketing promotes submission to Islamism. Where are the Me Too and Out Your Pig movements? Gap continues its submission to Islamism with its posters of veiled little girls. I have denounced several times this rise in power of the veil imposed on little girls, which is an abuse and trampling on our values of equality, freedom and secularism. Live now to multiculturalism expert Cecile LaRue. Ms. LaRue, thank you for joining us on the programme. Now, this ad campaign is praised in the US precisely for showing a veiled girl. So why are so many in France against it, do you think? Um, well, first of all, in France, really, when you're thinking of a societal issue, an issue like this, the first thing that should come to their mind is, is it something that's legal or in illegal in France? And this is a picture uh, of a young girl wearing a veil with another girl of, of a different ethnicity. And it shows, in my opinion, more tolerance than anything else. And there's nothing illegal about it. So as far as the politicians are concerned, that's really the only thing that they should be pronouncing themselves on. Yet instead, they're starting to polemicize and use the theme of Islam, very frankly, to try and make it look bad. Um, and in this case, they're um, attacking uh, Gap, which, uh, which uh, is very misplaced on the part of a government. Um, it's really too bad that this government is getting involved in what should be more a debate of opinion. You can like it or not like it, and I think your idea of interviewing people on the streets is excellent. You know, let's see what people think, people talk about it. Um, but as far as the government is concerned, their question should be, okay, is it legal or illegal? Um, in France, putting the veil on in school is illegal. So if the picture were something that were happening in school, then Gap France would have to ask Gap US to make a different pi picture because they can't um, uh, put a schoolgirl in a veil. Yeah. Uh, what do you make of... Uh, sorry to interrupt. I just want to find out what you make of the French MPs' calls to now boycott Gap. I think it's uh, really unfortunate, to be honest. I, that's... Uh, the point that I was trying to make is that I think it's very unfortunate that a politician should get involved in what should be an opinion debate. Uh, and, you know, she might uh, express herself as a citizen and say that if she had a little girl, she wouldn't want to put a veil on her little girl. That's her right. And it's her right not to like the veil. But as a politician, she should only be talking about whether it's legal or illegal in France and reacting vis-a-vis -vis Gap based on that and nothing else. Do young veiled girls have a place in advertising in France? I think they should have. I think that France, we were just uh, seeing the debate over the, over the, the 
the very varied nature of uh, the French soccer team who won the World Cup. And there was a lot of debate about how they should be called. And, you know, of course, they're French citizens, but let's not hide the fact that many of them are of African origin. France should embrace its diversity. So in my opinion, uh, these type of pictures should be welcome in France. Um, I used to work in the perfume industry. And France was always very, very free about showing a lot of the female body in perfume advertisements. And if we had clients in other countries who didn't uh, agree with it or who had laws where you couldn't expose a lady's décolleté or body uh, too much, then we simply provided them with another picture, uh, you know, based on the legality. If France has a, a problem with that, uh, you know, they can always ask that. But otherwise, the debate should be on the street and among citizens. It should not be a French government calling for a boycott. I think that that's very mean-minded, and it's using the Muslim population as a target to talk in an ugly way. Cecile LaRue, thank you for sharing your thoughts with us on RT International. We appreciate it.